I'm here in Hollywood Light, continue great in the movie, and I have here one of the main actors, Mauricio Mendoza, next to me. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic, thank you. Looking great, oh my God. Well, you know, that's one of the perks of being uh, this kind of character. I get to wear all these nice suits, which I wish I could keep. <laughs> So Mauricio, tell me more about your character in the movie, about your role. Well, I play uh, Dominic Romero. Um, basically, he is the de uh, devil's advocate kind of uh, character. He is the one that uh, pulls in the main lead, Max, into the fast life. Um, he's the, the successful man that money is everything, power is everything. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's a it's a fun character to play. You know, it's a, to to be able to act opposite uh, Rene Alvarado and and Steve Wilcox. We have a lot of our scenes together, so it's a lot of fun to be playing these kind of uh, these kind of characters. They give you power when you play this character. Absolutely, you know, because it makes me feel like I have money. And uh, when you have to play a character where you uh, are this kind of uh, success, it's uh, it's a pretty uh, amazing feeling. How do you feel about the other characters? For example, Steve, working with Steve Walker, his character in the movie. Well, Steve and I have uh, pretty much the same approach as actors uh, in the scene. Um, uh, we play, it's almost the same kind of character um, because we're both the rich guys, the successful guys that, uh, um, you know, I say a line in the movie, uh, it's the sky is the limit. Uh, and uh, we're both these rich guys that uh, power is everything to them, you know, and money is everything. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's fun. It's fun. What do you think about this script in general? Well, when I read the script, uh, I, I was brought in to read for two characters. I was brought in to read for Dom, to play the, the part I'm cast in, and the father, uh, which was uh, uh, David Barrera is playing Barrera. <laughs> David Barrera is playing it now, uh, the character of Antonio. So I had the opportunity to read for two very different characters, and uh, and I didn't even know which one I liked more. So uh, I think the producers brought me in with Renee to, to see, um, they had what's called a chemistry read, and they felt that uh, this was the role, uh, and I would have gone either way. Nice. You know? Well, that's a great opportunity to can, you know, choose the best character. Oh, yeah, yeah. When you get to uh, go into a film and there's two roles for you, the odds for you to uh, get the parts are much bigger than just one. <laughs> so I had to, I had the, 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 you know, the, the uh, luck to, to have the ability to read for both of them, you know, and to make different choices because, you know, the, the, the father's a down and out um, con man who finds God and has, to, and by finding God, he, he, he is more, he's got more morals now. I am, the, uh, the Dom is the opposite. He has no morals. And so to be able to do Dom first in the audition and all of a sudden switch out and go into this moral uh, character that found God, it, it was an amazing experience for me as an actor to be able to switch and for them to see that I can switch and that I can, I can do both, you know, because that's what actors do. We're, we, we should be chameleons. We should be able to play uh, a different um, array of characters, you know, and uh, I, uh, I love characters. You know, I, I usually will play these kind of characters. I'm, I always play these kind of characters. So I love playing the down and out kind of guys, too. That's awesome. You love it. How is your chemistry working with the director and the producer, Joaquin and Joel? Oh, it's fun. I mean, I, I, I've known uh, uh, Joel now for, for uh, a couple of years now. Um, and uh, so I have, uh, you know, I, I have a lot of admiration for what he's doing because, you know, as Latin actors, uh, he's, um, he's producing more and I'm producing more. So we see eye to eye of what needs to happen. And what, what, what makes this so special is that it's, uh, it's you know, there's a, a lot of Latino actors, but this is not a Latin project. Same with my projects, they're not Latino projects. We, uh, we just happen to be Latino. And so, um, you know, I admire, I admire Joel very, very much for doing what he's doing. Uh, J.R. Esquivel is the other producer on this. And they're fantastic people and their hearts are in the right place. And uh, Joaquin, uh, we call him JP, uh, Joaquin de Palma, he, um, 
no, it's Joaquin Palma, sorry. And uh, he's a fantastic director. You know, he um, he's uh, you know he um, he directs us where we need to be directed. And uh, and you know, there's a lot of time where we gotta go. We gotta just make quick choices. And uh, and he trusts us to just make those choices because we gotta move. You know, we're on a on a contra- on a low budget contract that means we gotta get the day done quickly. So we don't have a lot of time to to you know rehearse and play. And uh, but he's very clear on what he needs. So we go ahead and give him what he needs. And we got the take. We move. You know. That's wonderful. Hey, um, I heard about this last movie that you was working. Is your movie? Tell me a little bit more about it. Yes, uh, my movie. Uh, it, well, it's uh, it's through our company, my wife's company, Jennifer Barron's and my company. Um, it's amazing actress. Yes, beautiful, amazing actress and producer. It's called True Form Films, and we've been producing uh, features uh, ourselves. And it's called After School, and it stars our son, 13-year-old Adrian Moreira Barrens. And uh, basically, it's uh, we shot it last year. It's doing the festival route. It got a domestic dis- distribution. We're looking for foreign distribution. And basically, it's a, it's a spiritual film. It's what it's a, it's not a faith-based film. It's a spiritual film. It's what they call spiritual cinema. And so we're going that way too. We uh, our our uh, mission for our company is to make one film. Uh, one uh, what's the <laughs> I'm forgetting the the tagline. Uh, uh, making one film uh, a difference uh, at a time. And um, and we're very excited. We're very excited to see where it can go, where it's gonna go. Of course, let's go and check it out. Okay, guys, I want to see how much you remember by memory what the word power means. P O W E R R. Who, who said R? Jackie. Jackie. What does R stand for? Ready for anything. Mendez, I'm here to talk to you. Sam, one requesting backup. Harborside Middle School. I have a sequestered sixth grader with a gun. Shots have been fired. Back it up, everybody. Just take five steps back. I need you to help me help you. Mr. Brooks, he's the only one allowed. What happened to you? I told you I don't do that anymore. But you did. Have you had experience with troubled children? What is she saying? She's asking me about the gun. Hang up. If you guys alter his plan, he will shoot. Jackie has deep-rooted anger issues. I should have paid more attention. You're a loser, and I'm not gonna be a loser because I'm not gonna let it happen anymore. But what happened, Jackie? What they do to me? What have you done? When you're strong, even though you know you're scared, that's what courage is. That's power. Awesome movie. What is your role in the movie? I play a down and out um, uh, teacher who uh, taught this uh, kid at this school and who made an impact in this school. And um, unfortunately, this teacher is an alcoholic, got involved into drugs. And uh, during this lockdown at this high school, at this uh, middle school, this kid is uh, I'm the only one he will, will uh, want to talk to. So, this policeman, played by Jennifer. Uh, um, tries to find me, they find me, and uh, the movie takes place uh, pretty much all in the middle school uh, between Adrian and myself, and basically what it ends up being is two, two individuals, a child and an adult, saving each other's lives. Wonderful. Can you say where we can follow your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter? You can follow me on, on Facebook. I'm getting better about my getting an Instagram. Uh, you can check us out at trueformfilms.com. 
you can check out my IMDb pages. Uh, you know, you put in my name, you'll find me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can you say hi to Hollywood Live? Hi, Hollywood Live. Uh, keep, you know, keep plugging along. Keep pushing hard for us here in, uh, in Hollywood. Awesome. Thank you so much. And I continue here with more Hollywood Live. Life is tough. And it's mean. And it doesn't care about your feelings. And it doesn't worry about being fair. So if you want something, you get up and you take it.